Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm here to tell you about the improvements to Insert Mode in Dorico 4. Insert Mode has always been very powerful, but as we all know, with great power, there must also come great responsibility. As a result, Dorico 4 brings new features to make Insert Mode easier to use, more practical, and crucially, much safer, in order to reduce the risk of ruining music further along in the flow. And at the same time, it's even more powerful than ever. It's a bit like a multiverse of insert modes. Insert mode has always worked on the current voice, inserting notes and shuffling others along to make room. Conversely, insert mode devours time in a voice stream as you delete notes. That's rather clever, really. Now, in Dorico 4, you can change the scope of insert mode. Click and hold the insert button and see three additional settings for players, global, and global adjustment of the current bar. You can also cycle through these four scopes with the key command Alt or Option I. Let's have a look at the new ones in turn. When set to player, insert mode now affects all voices belonging to a player and all non-voice attached items such as dynamics. The insert mode caret is extended to show the different setting. Global affects all players, so all music in all staves is pushed along to make room for newly input notes. The caret indicates this by extending across the entire system. System attached items such as tempo are affected by the global scope. The final scope, global adjustment of current bar, affects music across all staves, but also extends the current bar so that all subsequent music stays at their same relative position in the bar. Dorico intelligently updates the time signature for the current bar to reflect the added time and returns the next bar to the original time signature. If you'd rather not see a change of time signature, there's a note input option to control that. The second part to the insert mode improvements is about protecting music after a certain point, so you can insert music without fear of messing up something later in the flow. The system track now allows you to set a stop position, which is indicated by a red line spanning the system. Nothing after the stop position will be affected by insert mode note input and editing before the stop position. The stop position also protects music from certain edits outside of insert mode, for example, copying and pasting. You can drag the stop position with the mouse, and you can set it at any arbitrary position with the key command Shift Alt I. Remove it by pressing the button again, using the key command again, or by dragging it off the system. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to the Dorico channel right now to see much more like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.